Hi, this is Vivian, and I am the author of The Silent Christian and its Impact on a Nation. And today we are talking about praying God's will when it comes to being afflicted and needing a healing. So the first scripture I want to talk about is Psalms in Psalms 34, 19, where it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers us out of them all. And so um, David was talking about the many afflictions, the many trials, the many tribulations that he went through. But as we all know, God delivered him out of them all. And he will also deliver you if we allow, if we allow him to. Um, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. And God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide ways of escape that you may be able to endure it. So no matter what you're going through, God always provides a way out. You know, it might not be the way that we like. It might not be what we want. But he also, he always has a way to get us out. And that scripture goes very well with Psalms 34 and 19. There are a ton of scriptures um, related to being afflicted. Um, Psalms 119 and 71 said, It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. You know, people always talk about, you know, folks, they pray when they get in trouble. Or they need God's help, you know, um, and then they want to go to church and they want to study. That's kind of like what this, this um, scripture is saying in 119. He said it was good that he was afflicted, afflicted because that, it, that forced him to go in and learn God's statue and learn God's word. And so don't feel bad about that. Um, go in the scriptures and find out what God has to say about your situation. Because I tell you, he has a lot to say about your situation. I did read a quote, though, from a McLaren, and he said, Many are the afflictions, but more are the deliverances. So we get more deliverances than we are afflicted. So the next thing I'll talk about is healing. You know, um, James 5 says, Is any among you suffering? Let them pray. So that means if you're suffering with anything, you ought to pray. You ought to seek God in prayer. Um, is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and they'll pray for him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, um, you pray for yourself. If you feel like you're not getting um, your prayers through, call for one of the elders of the church. To pray with you and pray for you. That's what they are there for. Um, but we all know that uh, by Jesus Christ's stripes that we are already healed. That we have been healed. Um, and that's found in 1 Peter 2 and 24. It's also found in Isaiah 53 and 5. And I give you these scriptures because, you know, so you can go and look, look them up. And you find yourself afflicted, you find yourself suffering, go to the Word of God and start praying His Word to Him. Um, Jeremiah said, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Cry out to God, you know, seek Him. Because if God is able to just speak a word, and create the heavens and the earth and the inhabitants of the earth, all the fishies in the sea, that's in Genesis 1, all that he created just by speaking that word, he can heal any affliction that you might have. But you need to call up, call upon him. Uh, Psalms 147 tells us that he heals the broken heart and binds up their wounds. He not only heals those things that might attack our flesh, but he's also able to heal those people who are emotionally, um, or as we like to call it, uh, having mental issues, um, or taking care of your mental health. We need to call on the name of the Lord. And he's able to heal you from your broken brokenness. 
you know, that you may be feeling from a loss of a loved one or something of that nature. God is there for us. And many of us don't know. Um, we don't know. Or we don't believe. Or we're praying. You know, you can say, God, you said in Psalms 147 and 3 that you heal the brokenhearted. And God, I am brokenhearted. You know, and I need for your, a healing from you right now. Um, or you can quote to him Jeremiah 17 and 14. You just say, Lord, in Jeremiah 17, 14, you, he said, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. So God, I'm saying, asking you to heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, for I will be saved. You know, speaking in faith and believing that what you ask him for, you will receive it. Amen. <laughs> Okay, um, Psalms one, um, Psalms 41 and 3 says, The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. You know, so there are tons and tons of scriptures that God has given us in his word. And I truly believe that the answers that we seek, the healing and deliverance, um, Relief from our suffering, not just ours, but others as well, can be found in God's Word. And you can just pray His Word back to Him and let Him know, God, I know you said this, and I'm calling your name regarding, calling on your name regarding this issue, okay? Um, the last scripture I want to give you is in James 5, 15 through 16. And it says, And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The effectual, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So he said this prayer of faith, that means you are praying in faith, believing that whatever it is that you're asking for, you're going to receive it. And since God's word is true, and God is not a man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man that he should repent, whatever he says, it is so. He said that his word will not come back to him void. It would accomplish everything that he sent out for it to accomplish. So knowing that these scriptures are there, you should, should build up your faith in knowing that God will answer you, especially when you're praying according to his word. And so you can pull out some of these scriptures, and I'm going to put them down in the comments. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. If you want to get my book, it's available on Amazon. I also put a link in the comments regarding that as well. But I look forward to seeing you on, when is my next video? Tuesday, and where we'll be talking about why praying for our government is um, a part of God's plan. And Lord knows our government needs prayer at this time. So thanks for taking your time out. And I look forward to hear, seeing you later. You all have an awesome and blessed day. And please make the commitment to be a silent Christian no more. God bless you.